In my previous video, we took a look at this twin T op amp oscillator to produce a nice sinusoidal output. And one of the things we talked about was how you can get a good low distortion sine wave. And we looked at it a couple of ways, one with an FFT on the scope, and then also with a THD multimeter. And I had several comments of folks that said, well, hey, it would have been nice to see you do the adjustment to get the lowest distortion and see the effect on the FFT when we make that adjustment. So let's do that in this quick follow-up video. So I thought the first thing we'd do is take a look at how to set up the FFT. I typically like to have you know 20 or 30 cycles on the screen to get a good, you know, decent resolution in the FFT result for a, a given waveform. So let's just adjust the time base to get that. And I'll go and add a new math channel here and tell that math channel to be an FFT. So now I've got the FFT, but you can see it's going from DC out to, it looks like, 5 megahertz. We're really interested in DC out to about 20 kilohertz. So I can go in here and uh, just tell it that I want to change the scale. Uh, we'll go uh, here from, say, 0, and we'll go to, say, 20 kilohertz and put that in here. So now I've got the resolution that I want. And maybe to make it a little bit easier to see, i get rid of the measurement area over here. And I'm also going to pull that off to the side. So I'll be able to see kind of the amplitude of these harmonics uh, a little bit clearer. The other thing I'll do too is zoom in on the time domain waveform. And it'll be easier to kind of see, you know, the distortion that we have. You can see there's a little bit of flat topping there, not so much down here. And I can see we're looking at, uh, again, the, the vertical scale here is now 10 dB per division. So we're a good 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 dB down or so on the, uh, you know, almost you know, 55, 60 dB down on most of these harmonics. Now, I don't have this uh, quite optimized. We were a little bit better than that in the previous video. But let's go to the let's kind of work our way down to the lower and lower distortion. You can see if I turned a little bit too far, the oscillation completely went away. So now I've got to come back up here until the oscillation just comes back up here again. All right, and again, that's there's about the you know this guy is you know 50 to 55 dB down or so, and then the others are are a little bit further down. Now let's see if we uh, adjust this continuing to get even more distortion. So you can see I've got some flat topping up here and some flat topping down here. And you can see how much this harmonic content has grown. And the fact that the distortion is balanced, if you will, on the bottom end and the top, that kind of gives rise more to the odd harmonics. So you see those have picked up a bit more. When you have more asymmetric distortion where it appears on one peak and not the other, that leads to more of the uh, even harmonics. So it's just something you'll, you'll kind of find as you play with this. So that's as far as I can make this adjustment on this pot. Um, so it's dialed in all the way one way. And we can see what that kind of distortion is. Let's make a quick measurement at this level with the THD multimeter to see what level of total harmonic distortion this is. And let's see. So we're at about 1.6% uh, total harmonic distortion with that amount of visible distortion on the peaks of the signal. So let's uh, kind of go to a little bit reduced uh, distortion as shown on the FFT and we'll come back and take a look at it on the meter. Alright, so let's uh, get my screwdriver in the trimmer here and let's uh, make some improvements. Watch those harmonics uh, kind of come down here. Let's bring that third harmonic down by about 10 dB. So right about there. So we can see you know, we've reduced the amount of clipping we're getting at the peaks. This third harmonic came down about 10 dB from where it was. Let's take a look at what that reads on the THD multimeter. Okay, now that's reading about 0.66%. So we went from about 1.6 down to 0.6% uh, THD according to uh, the multimeter here. So let's again optimize it as best we can uh, based on what we see on the scope. And then we'll take a final reading on the multimeter. All right, let's see how good we can make this. And uh, get this trimmer back in here and start bringing this down. Again, we could watch those harmonics work their way down here. And uh, I'm just trying to go very slowly here to get right on the verge of where the oscillation starts to go away. We can see that I've really uh, driven down that uh, the distortion components here quite a bit. I'm not sure I can go much further than that. So let's uh, 
let's see what that looks like on the multimeter. Alright, it looks like we've uh, backed down to what we had seen on the video initially, about 0.12% uh, total harmonic distortion. So that was just a short follow-up uh, to take a look at the distortion both through FFT on the scope as well as with a numeric reading on the THD multimeter. Thanks again for all your interaction on the previous video and asking to see this. So I hope this uh, satisfies your curiosity. And we'll see you next time. Oscillator.